guys, so today we got an unboxing of the GANS 356. Okay, so you can see it got two GANS 356s, a pink ultimate version and then a primary standard version. And so these actually didn't come from a US website, these came from the actual GANS Taobao store. And so I emailed coupons.com and they bought it from the GANS Taobao store and then sent them to me and so thank you for that. And so if you do want to get uh, the pink one for example, they don't have them on US stores currently. So if you do want to get some, you can email coupons.com and they will buy it for you from the GANS Taobao store. And so let's just finally take a look at these. Um, they, they also came with these two bags, and so let's see what we have in here. Okay, so you can see we got a set of stickers and then some lube. I'm not sure if Gans threw these in just as an extra or if they come with the ultimate version. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. They seem to be like a set of bright stickers, so that's pretty awesome. And so let's get into the actual cubes. I'll quickly take a look at this pink ultimate version to see what it has. Um, obviously the cube. Alright. Really cool box too. It has a pink stand. Okay, so pamphlet. We have a set of stickers. And then this is the ultimate version. It comes with the metal tensioning tool. And then I can see some springs in there. Some extra set of springs and then the actual cube and so I'm not going to be taking this pink one out of the box for now since I'm not going to be really using it until I need to and so let's take a look at the turning on the primary version so I've heard some mixed reviews on this cube I've heard some people say that it catches a lot but other people say that theirs doesn't catch and it's really really fast and it's really good and so this standard version, version it just comes with the pamphlet and the cube and the box so it's not, not really any extras. Even though it's only a 1mm difference, you can definitely tell that it's smaller than 57mm. Um, it also feels a little bit heavier, but it's not really a huge problem. Well, first turns, I can definitely see why people like the 356 over the 57mm version. The 357 is just a lot louder, uh, more clacky feeling, even though it is smooth, it's, it's really floppy and flimsy. But this one, it feels a lot more stable. But I do feel the slightest bit of catching, but it's not really too noticeable right now. Hopefully it goes away with some breaking in. Um, but corner cutting is really effortless, it's way past 45 with almost no effort, and reverse isn't bad either, it's really nice. And so let's take a look at the pieces compared to the 357. So the only difference with the edges is the torpedo alignment. Um, with this one, this torpedo would lock under the corners, whereas this one would lock under the core. And so this one seems to be more effective, and probably adds to the stability of the puzzle. Um, the corners are essentially the same, the only difference being that um, the center has an extra layer added. Um, and I know for the 356, the internal part of the pieces have um, higher quality plastic, but I'm not really feeling it right now. Core is definitely different. Um, in the 356, you can see it's a plastic core, but with metal arms. And then in the 357, I do have the strengthened core in here, but it's still all plastic. And so I'm definitely liking the 356 more than the 57, but the only upgrades I, s I can tell right now are the smoothness, the added stability, and it's a lot more quiet. Um, and also besides the packaging, I really don't see the justification behind listing it so expensively. It's almost doubled the price of the 57. Um, and the performance right now is essentially the same. 
they both perform very well, they both feel very nice. But you know, I have to see how it gets after some setting up and breaking in. Hopefully it does get better. But you know, for now, I really don't see the need to, to go out and get this, considering it's so expensive for, you know, just a 3x3. And so I'm definitely going to be making some update videos on the performance and everything on the 356, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll see everyone in my next video.